Hey viewers, welcome to this vlog. We are going to see across different cultures and also visiting and encountering different people around different parts of Africa. But we are going to begin with the, the Republic of Burundi lying just to the eastern part of Lake Tanganyika and bordering Congo, DRC, bordering also Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east, and it has a wonderful and one of the cultural practices that in Africa are becoming a little bit rare with time. This is normal because it is like any other country in the developing part of the world, the global south, in which the systems are rapidly changing. Um, as the generations keep on changing, the mentality, the attitude, the socio-economic life of the people, also the traditions are in mutation. We have uh, here a wonderful case scenario of the traditional practices, especially those ones that support and sustain the family life of many Burundians. Burundi has got more or less over 12 million of population. This is a sign of population that is uh, in steady growth economically it is a landlocked country its economy is struggling because of lack of uh, trade connections but also some important and essential natural resources that are yet to be realized and exploited as we travel around this beautiful landscape and uh, natural features, we come across different realities, especially with the Burundians. The common language here is Kirundi, but the people also speak French as the official language because Burundi is a former Belgian colony after it was divided from Rwanda, which of course used to be Rwanda-Urundi under the German imperialism before it was taken and divided by the Kingdom of Belgium. In this case, Burundi is a full sovereignty an independent state and a republic with its history uh, running from the Kingdom of Burundi uh, that we can trace back to 1850 and uh, getting into the republic through different political revolutions and changes. Also to note, this is a country that has gone through a lot of civil wars and tensions, genocides, and also it has a share in the reality that has been troubling the, the region for quite a long time. It is here also noteworthy and uh, very informative to understand that despite all the crises in politics, crisis in uh, the economy of the country, the people are indeed very much at home with their cultural practices, their traditions, especially the marriage. Marriage in Burundi is still uh, giving us a very impressive reality in which there is an integration of the modern with the traditional, religious, with what would be referred to as profane. In this case, uh, marriage can take quite a long period of time from betrothal to 
fiancé status, engagement, and until it gets to the wedding. But wedding in Burundi is not a day thing. It can take several months, several weeks, several days, but also a lot of time. As the people here still uphold some of their key values, their cultures, their traditional normative system, and also the respect, the order of their society, that is the family as a fundamental institution that supports the livelihood of so many people across this country. This includes also uh, the question of rel relationships, uh, cousins, nephews, uh, grandparents, uncles and aunts, they still recognize the family ties and they acknowledge the importance of this. This is uh, again uh, studied against the reality of the changes that come handy with the modern society, the generational change. A lot of youth and uh, most of the youth here are like any other youth in any part of Africa. This is the reality of young people who are grappling with the changes and trying to cope up with the socioeconomic type of life in this regard. One is to get social stability. Second, to get some kind of job or source of income. Then third, to form a family. Family here means the husband and the wife, but also the parents, close relatives of both spouses. This is indeed something very peculiar. Burundians will conduct the civil marriage and that is the state marriage with a contract of marriage, after which another stage is that of the African customary law, the dowry rights. And in this case, the dowry is a very important event in Burundi which involves many close relatives, the parents of the spouses, and it is very ceremonious. Then another stage is that of the church, the religious part. The population here is more or less 98% Christians and 90% Catholics. Uh, this one puts the Catholic Church at a supreme position as a religious institution that is so much esteemed by the people of Burundi. Uh, in this regard, it is very important to see how the Burundians celebrate their weddings and integrating what would be considered as traditional with traditional dances, inviting dancers, singers, but also making very, very resounding speeches by people who are considered revered and uh, respected in the society. Uh, with this, we can also admit that not everybody, not all persons, are obliged to follow the same rules and same system and procedures of marriage because some can only do the civil marriage and that is it. Some can do only the religious marriage with that of the civil because every marriage must be registered. Some may also do the customary marriage and get it registered. So what is here substantive is the common policy that the marriage must be registered according to the laws of the Republic of Burundi. Thank you for watching and uh, I want to believe that you have had a glimpse, a taste of what would be considered the African pearl.